There were selection lessons to be learned from six successive defeats in Brisbane, but it seems Heineke Meyer has ignored them. He's gone with size in his pack when mobility should have been a key selection criteria. It's clear from the selections in the pack that the Springboks will look to bulldoze the Wallabies, then introduce some dynamic players in the second half, when it should have been the other way around. It should have been a quick start 60 and then a slow grind last quarter. Now it's debatable that they'll even be in contention after 60 minutes. I'd have started with a more dynamic and mobile Jean de Cree in the second row. He may still start and I hope that is the case. I would have also started Sia Khaleesi ahead of Willem Alberts, bringing Alberts on in the second half. Khaleesi adds more mobility to the back row and if the Wallabies move it around, this could be an area of the game that the Springboks are vulnerable in. I've already written that the call to start Zane Kirchner was the wrong one and I've also played Ruan Pino off the bench. This is a Wallaby team in serious strife. They're coming to terms with a new coaching philosophy, their new combinations, everyone's getting used to everyone. This is probably the box's best chance to beat the Wallabies in a number of years, despite their poor record at this ground. As far as key players go for the Wallabies, well Guinea will always be there and thereabouts. Israel Folau, watch out for him, he's made more meters on average carrying the ball than any player in the tournament. But my man for Saturday is Michael Hooper, who tormented the All Blacks. They didn't have an answer to counter him on the deck, and I don't think the Springboks will either. I think Hooper will be the key difference between the Springboks winning and losing.